What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be checking out the Tooling Hitching Pros Pro on our 2022 Honda Odyssey. Now this is going to be a hang style bike rack, so you got the two arms here. The bike is going to rest in these cradles, so we don't recommend using carbon fiber bikes on this because that can wear and tear on that frame and you don't want to damage anything like that. But we have an aluminum road bike on here, it's going to be just fine. A mountain bike, just fine, won't bother at all. If you want to come in and look at the cradles, they are rubberized, so they will protect those frames for the aluminum. They even have grooves in there to protect the cords so they can go down in there. You won't have any issues of them being crushed. Another awesome thing that this has, let me replace those. The straps are really easy to do. You can go easy, or if you want to pull a little bit more, you can get a little bit more out of it. That way it's nice and tight on your bike. Now you'll notice some of them have three. They all have three, and that means that's going to stabilize the bike. So that means when you have it fully loaded, let's say we have four bikes on here, there's going to be some side to side movement as you drive. This is going to take up some of that movement. So they're less likely to smash into each other as much as you're going down the road. Speaking of different style bikes, it can hold up to 35 pounds per cradle. So just keep that in mind with what kind of bikes you want to load up there. And also if you have step through bikes, women's style bikes or kids bikes, you can get a bike adapter bar so that it hangs evenly here on the cradles. If we take a second to look at how it looks on the back of the Odyssey, you can see though it is a hang style bike rack. So the bike's going to be right there at the back of the vehicle. So it is going to cover up a little bit of the taillights on both sides. It'll cover up your license plate. It'll probably affect your backup camera. Also, it sticks up just a little bit. So depending on the height of the handlebars and seat, it might take up a little bit of that space in your rear view mirror as well. Now let's go ahead and remove the bike. Let's pull the straps off here on the top and the one here on the down tube. And with that out of the way, we can just grab our bike, lift it up out of the cradles, and set it aside. Let's get some measurements with the bike unloaded. So I'm going to go from the bumper all the way out to the end of our bike rack. So this arm here, you're going to come down, it's going to be about 37 inches. So that sticks out quite a bit. One nice thing you can do to fix that is you can fold the arms down. So if I come in there and pull this pin on the side, I'm going to remove that. Tilt the arms down, line up that hole, and replace that pin. Put those around there, attach on the other side, and now we're taking up some of that space. So let's measure that one more time. From the bumper to the edge here is gonna be 16 inches, so that's quite a bit less. So that definitely takes some space if you don't have any bikes loaded in those tight parking spots, or even pulling into your garage, it's gonna make that a lot easier. Now with the arms folded down, I will point out it is pretty sturdy. Some of those hang style bike racks will be some rattling back and forth. So you can see I can move it a little bit, but I'm pulling quite a bit. So if I just shake it like this, like you'd be going down the road, you can see there's not moving back and forth. So there's not going to be a lot of noise or movement there. Now, another nice thing that it does is you can actually tilt it away from the vehicle to get to the back hatch if you forget something without having to get the tools out to completely remove the bike rack. So you just come down here to this pin, remove that, and then tilt this away. Then we can have back access to our Odyssey. While I'm placing this pin here at the bottom, I want to point out this loop that's on the back of the Hitching Post Pro. That's going to be good for cable locks. You can run that through and run through your bikes and have something to lock up onto. So that's going to be a nice addition just to keep that security on those bikes. Now we're not too far from the back axle, but so we shouldn't be too worried about ground clearance, but let's get that measurement anyway. So from the ground to the bottom of the rack, it's gonna be about 10 and a half inches, so I think it should be just fine, but you know, we always like to tell everybody to be careful on those steep driveways or big hills. If we look at the shank on the Hitching Post Pro, you can see it's got an adapter on there. So right now it's in a two inch by two inch hitch. You can remove that adapter and it'll be inch and a quarter. So if you have two different vehicles, it can work in two different hitches like that. We've got an anti-rattle bolt in here on this side, and I'm just gonna show you. I can shake the whole Odyssey back and forth. There's no movement or rattling here in the hitch at all. So that's good. That means it's not gonna transfer to your bikes when you're going down the road. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the solemn. This is gonna show us the side to side action, which simulates turning corners and evasive maneuvers. Then we get to the alternating speed bumps. We'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving on an uneven pavement. Then we'll go over the full speed bumps and we can see the up and down action. This will, this will be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage, or a driveway. Overall, it's a pretty popular bike rack and you can see why it's very easy to use. It holds the bikes very easily. You can 
there's those straps, anybody can do that. And it's that nice and tight on there. So if I shake it by the base, you can see there's not gonna be any rattling. Nothing's gonna go to the bikes. So, you know, everything's gonna be secure. You can lock them up and you should be good. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helped.